Hello and welcome to another episode of Modern Infrastructure Wednesday. Today we're going to be going over the demo that I built for showing how to use container-based uh, Lambda functions. And so we're going to walk through that code in depth since in the video it was a kind of a quick take on just how to build an application and kind of show the demo of the application, but never, never really walk through it uh, in depth. And so we're going to do that in this video today. If we kind of start at the beginning, we import a couple libraries. Uh, we're building a TypeScript application today. Uh, Pulumi obviously does support uh, Go, .NET, uh, as well as Python, in addition to Node.js. So, but here we're using TypeScript. Uh, so I, I create this bucket, um, you know, to simply just call you know a new bucket. Uh, here we just name it bucket, but uh, obviously that's just the the name we're using within Pulumi. Uh, we, with Pulumi's auto naming capabilities. Uh, these actually end up being transformed to, into suffixed uh, names in the actual uh, cloud provider, in this case, AWS. Uh, this next line here, we're, we're, we're using this convenience library, AWS X. This is a crosswalk for AWS. It's a convenience library from Pulumi. And then here we just build and push image, and it, it builds a uh, the image and pushes it into a repository within ECR. And so actually, if we go to uh, our console, the Pulumi console, we can actually see those resources uh, here in our stack. And if I open this up, uh, we can actually see the, the name of the bucket uh, is, you know, is suffix like this. And then same thing with I, if I go look at the sample app repository, we can actually see uh, this particular repository um, in ECR. And we can also, uh, oops, what's going on here? Ah, oh, here, sorry. I. I had updated something without uh, publishing it, but here we can see the, the repository names um, as well as the images, that's what I meant to do, uh, as well as the images that have been pushed um, into that repository. So that's kind of how that works. Um, and so again, you know, this is all auto named uh, as part of the Pulumi. And so, uh, yeah, so we, we have the bucket, we have the image. Uh, in order to execute a Lambda function, obviously that Lambda function needs to have uh, I am role and permissions. And so we create that role here, thumbnailer role, and we attach a policy called uh, uh, the AWS Lambda full access policy. So actually here we're using a managed policy yarn that AWS provides. Uh, you'll note that this is actually a um, an enum. Uh, and so so that's how, this is how we uh, actually bring this in here. So that's kind of, or to access an enum rather, it's a, it's a set of constants. Uh, so that's how we bring that into there. And so, um, once we have those, we just create the function. That's what this line is here on line 20. And so the function takes that image uh, URI. So we have that image URI from above. Um, and this is an output of this particular uh, image. And then we also give it the role that we created. So those things combined allow us to create the function that actually executes. And I'm going to go into how that function works in a second. Um, after that, the rest of the code is actually fairly simple as well. We, we create a note, we create a uh, on object created, this is a, again a convenience in the uh, Pulumi AWS library where we hook up the S3 uh, bucket notifications to our function. And so uh, every time there's a new object created in that bucket, in this particular bucket, we will, uh, the name of the handler is on new video, this could be any name, and then uh, we give it the, the function that we want to execute uh, whenever, a new bucket, uh, whenever a new bucket object is created. And then we specifically filter for uh, this uh, mp4 suffix. And then finally, just to kind of, you know, for the sake of the demo, I also uh, throw in a, an additional um, uh, a function that, that we create here. So again, we can create another on object created uh, notification so that you can see it's actually the same thing. But here we give it a new handler name. And in this case, instead of giving it an existing function, I create a new function inline actually. And my inline function uh, is simply just a TypeScript code I create here. And, and you can see the inline function is fairly simple. All it's doing is uh, providing some additional uh, information about um, what's actually being processed. And again, we give it uh, a policy. So that's that's pretty much it um, here. And you can see this is this is looking for that j that thumbnail that gets written uh, once it gets written. And so no, no, you know nothing nothing too crazy here. So instead of a role, I just give it a a policy um, uh, because this this actually creates a, a role on its own um, as well. So that's kind of how all that works. And so really the, the only code left to look at is how do we build that container image and what is the code uh, running within that container image? So if we, if we go over here, we can look at our Docker file and you can see up here, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling uh, the, I, I'm basing this image off of the uh, image that AWS has published. 
this is actually uh, using their new uh, public uh, e uh, their new public ECR, uh, and so we're grabbing that image from there, and then we're just adding a few things that weren't present in the image already. So we're including a few uh, utilities. We need those to to install a couple other things. So we need unzip to install the AWS CLI, where we just grab this uh, CLI and then we unzip it and install it. And then we similarly need tar and XZ to install FFmpeg. So we uh, also uh, grab that file, uh, unpack it, and then move that move that binary into uh, somewhere on the path. And then once all that's done, um, you know, finally we just copy this handler uh, and then set the uh, set the entry point to be this uh, this handler. And so if we look at this handler, uh, it's fairly simple. Um, this is exactly the same code you would write in a Lambda function. And so uh, here all we're doing is uh, we have this you know, simple run wrapper that, that does an exec. And so that's simply uh, shelling out to uh, take the file that um, came in and copy it to the, to the local disk. We run FFmpeg against it with the correct FFmpeg parameters to, to grab the thumbnail. Uh, that outputs to the thumbnail. And then we finally copy that thumbnail we create uh, back into S3. And so that's how all this is wired together, uh, fairly simple uh, and straightforward. And so that really that's how, that's how the entire example works. And, and like I, I said in the, in the in the short video, you know, it really is just a few dozen lines of code to wire everything together. Pulumi makes it super simple and easy to get started doing this. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, be really curious to see what you do with with the the lambda functions using container based uh, functions. And I hope to see you next week on Modern Infrastructure Wednesday. If you like this video, please leave a comment below. would love to hear what other content you would like to see, as well as uh, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so we know uh, you're enjoying uh, the content here. Thanks.